all religion has to have this internal component or this true worship or else it won't work. So what is true worship? Again, Secrets of Heaven 7884. When people today talk about worship of God, they mainly mean worship of the lips in a church and private prayers morning and evening. However, it is not these that are the essential components in worship of God, but rather a life of useful activity. Worshiping by living a useful life accords with the arrangement ordained for heaven. Worship of the lips, too, is worship, but it does no good whatever unless we worship with our lives, because that is heartfelt worship. If worship of the lips is really to be worship, it must grow out of living worship. Useful activity meaning the things you do in your life, that you, whether it's your job or the other, the other things you do to serve, are exactly that, to serve the human race. That we're looking, our overall goal, our aim is what our love and our life is, and if that aim is, on some level, I want to make things better for people, then that's, that's love, and that's worship, and that is this God coming into us and through us, and that's what we can all be striving for in our communities and individually. And I want to end here looking at the alternative, because we saw this tower built out of these false and evil elements, but what about what's re- this the same ascending to these heights, but in the way that we were meant to? So we're going to look at some images of mountains here with some quotes over them about true worship, remembering that Im- that mountains are an image, so you're going to be seeing what worship looks like, like what this this spiritual phenomenon we're talking about looks like represented physically while your brain learns a few things about it. So just relax and see what comes to you.